I don't want us getting into pissing contests in the chat about who's right or wrong. Okay, let's not, please, let's not do that. I don't mind shit talking about sports football and being positive and having a good time, but let's keep it 100. Once we talk about it, let's move on and let's keep it going. Okay. Um, first thing first. Uh, I'm not gonna. The main thing I'm gonna say is my thoughts on the 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 how 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 I take it. So I, I found out actually before today. I I, I already know. I, I've been uh, Papa Stokes texted me, and as a new father, uh, I think this news hit me harder than it probably would have if I had not became a father, because. I've been talking, obviously, I've, I've had multiple conversations with Papa Stokes, Marcus himself, and just what it's going to be to play for the University of Florida and how life-changing it's going it, it, w- it was going to be. And just having conversations with Papa Stokes, you know, dad to dad, and how, like, look how great this is. Like, it's it's like you, you, you watch your kid grow up and be able to have this. It's an incredible thing. It's an incredible feeling for a father. Um, I can only imagine. I don't know how it feels just yet, but I, I'm sure it's going to be incredible. It would be incredible. And to have all that stripped away within a matter of 24 hours is is hard to swallow. So my heart fell for the guy. Like I literally felt numb. I'm like, that's I felt I felt I felt it all just kind of be stripped away, and it sucks. Um, again, this isn't me supporting you know what was said or anything like that, but just the fact of what happened to him and how what he's going through, I feel for Marcus 110. percent And I want I want to share this with you. He texted me today. Marcus did. Okay, so did Papa Stokes as well, but Marcus texted me today, and I want to read that to read this to you because to show you kind of who Marcus is. Okay, I have not spoke to Marcus at all in this last like forty eight hours, and then he texted me today. He goes, "Man, it was an awesome having such huge support from you, and I've always loved being a part of your podcast and stuff." But stay safe, man. Great kid, man. Great kid, great head on the shoulders, and I think look, he's he's learning from it. He's already he's already moving on and trying to pick up the pieces, and like, where do we go from here? And that's kind of my thoughts on it, man. Look, kid made a mistake, understands is what it is. Consequences sometimes. Look, and I think we're all frustrated on the consequences. I'm not going to speak to that because that's not my decision. We don't like there's there's so many moving pieces and parts to this thing, guys, that we don't quite understand of what what causes the consequences or who makes the decision. And arguing about it's not going to make a difference. Um, so, look, you don't know what the consequences are. We don't ever know what the consequences are going to be. Sometimes we're able to move on and sometimes we're not. And you just don't ever know. And if you if we get out into that situation, this is what happens. But his dad, they said, look, we're moving on. Time to get the, time to get to work and let's get rock and rolling. And that's what I'm asking from all of you guys and from all of us. It's like, look, we got to keep moving on. I'm going to continue to watch and see how well he does. Uh, but um, it's just, look, that's kind of my thoughts on it. I don't want to go any too, I don't have, I don't have much more else to say about it other than feel for him. Uh, wishing the best of luck, and but the Stokes family, they're moving on. They're focused on what's ahead of them, and I think that's all we need to do. Us talking about it, doing about it, you know, getting into arguments about who's right or wrong. Guys, we didn't make the decision. You didn't make the decision. I didn't make the decision, right? Whether you think what was said was right or wrong, does it? it none of it really matters because none of us have a control over it, Okay. Uh, the whole operation's a business, and both parties have to to manage themselves, i.e. Marcus and i.e. the university, as a business, and that's what it is. And sometimes you have to make a business decision that's going to uh, fluster a, uh, a a group but support another group. You're never going to please all parties, and that's the hard part about being in the business is sometimes you got to make a bad bad call. Uh, or not a bad call, but just a call in general that's going to frustrate somebody. Again, I'm not condoning and supporting or negatively I'm not no comment on the on the call itself but calls are going to offend somebody no matter what and that is what it is but we as people as the fans best thing is to do if if you know support Marcus as as, as you as you can if not just leave it be and like I said let's move on 